Hey guys, how's it going? This is Maurice from Maurice and Carolyn. And if you like pop-up videos, if you like outdoors and you like overall family fun, definitely consider subscribing. Hit the like and the notification bell so that way you don't miss any content. Uh, for myself and my wife, we are transitioning from avid cruise uh, goers and lovers to uh, pop-up camping. Uh, right now with everything that's going on with the whole uh, COVID-19 and situations of cruise lines not cruising, uh, we needed something to actually vacation with the kids at a reasonable cost. So we decided to uh, explore, you know, camping and pop-up camping. Um, so if you guys haven't checked out how we came across this particular pop-up, go ahead and check out the link above. Um, also, um, as far as the first renovation that we did here was definitely some uh, cleaning some other items. I'll definitely put a link to that in the description below. But today we're going to be working on flooring. So when it comes to your pop up camper, you want to make sure that you have a flooring that is going to be durable, reliable and to pretty much fit the scheme and everything that you're going with as far as with the pop up. So what we decided to do was to go with a I'm pretty sure this table is gonna rock a little bit all right um so what we decided that we wanted to do was to go with a vinyl plank flooring um, this particular color that you're going to see is going to be uh, driftwood uh, this is from lowe's um, it's a style selections is the brand that we have so um, super excited in reference to how everything turned out with the flooring uh, we have a shower toilet combination so we do plan on utilizing that so we wanted something that was going to uh, be water friendly easy to clean up especially with spills and things like that with this eating meals inside of the pop-up um if the you know weather was bad or if, you know bugs were bad outside and we didn't eat at like the picnic table and things like that so we definitely want to have something that was reliable um so without further ado we'll go ahead and get into the install So today is the day that I will be laying down some vinyl plank flooring here in the pop-up. This is our 1994 StarCraft StarMaster XL Vista. Uh, if you saw the last episode, you will see that I painted all of the cabinet doors, the cabinets, as well as the screws and hardware, which came out pretty good. Uh, so right now what I'm going to do is do a final sweep and degrease of the floor. And then I'm going to lay this vinyl plank flooring. All right guys, so this spot over here, of course it's gonna be the cleanest because it has the less foot traffic, but everything else pretty much swept. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the degreaser on this portion right here, wipe it, let it dry, and it's gonna be time to start laying some flooring.
All right, guys, the final result. Voila. How awesome is that? Color driftwood. I really think that the grays and the blues in the wood is really playing off of the cabinets. This came down great. And I did stagger the seams. So that way, you see this one right here has a full piece. And the next seam isn't until down here. Even when I came up into the uh, dining room area here, I know you had a whole piece could cover this. I just took a whole piece and just split it down the middle. And then I did a whole piece and I split the next one down the middle. So guys, I think it turned out very, very well. Um, like I said, if you're interested in this particular flooring, it is style selections in driftwood from Lowe's currently on special. I'll drop a link below in the description just in case you're thinking about it. Um, literally I used maybe 60% of these pieces. So, you know, if that's, you know, 40 pieces, you know, I use maybe 22, if that, because um, a lot of the pieces I could cut in half or I cut them and I was able to use it for the next row. Um, it wasn't until I got around the cabinet area that it really kind of gave me some issues. Um, but lucky enough, I had more than enough. Um, I'm probably going to buy another box and store it at home in case anything should happen to the pop-up. Um, I've got this current open box and I have another one just in case I need to pull up all of it and replace it. But I don't see that happening anytime soon. Uh, maybe a friend or someone will, you know, purchase a pop up and want to renovate theirs. And, you know, I've pretty much got some of this stuff in the bag already with renovations and updating the pop ups. So thank you guys very much for stopping by. And I hope to bring you guys another project as we get our pop up camper ready. Uh, to go ahead and uh, tour some campsites this summer. All right, take care. Bye.